YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Josh, back up in this thing with another one. We woke up this morning, it's another beautiful day. Uh, praise to the most high, man, let's get it. Dog, I cannot tell you the importance or how significant it is for you to break bad habits in your life. I'm gonna tell you guys an experience I had in my life where I realized that my porn addiction and me watching, me ha having the habit of just watching porn every single night, bro, I'm going to tell you exactly my experience I went through where I realized I couldn't do this ability or I couldn't do this activity anymore. And I noticed something needed to be changed. And I looked to the Most High to help me change it. I looked into the Bible, seeing exactly what I needed to do in order for me to change. And that's, bro, that's what I recommend y'all do. If y'all are trying to break habits, bro, it could feel like you out of control because you may not even want to partake in the habit. You, know, you may even know that the habit is bad for you, but you still do it anyways. That's just something that we all facing. And because that's the case where it's just like, bro, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I keep doing this anyways. That's why I just said, bro, I need to pray to God and I need to look exactly what I need some help with this. Basically, I need a higher power to help me overcome this because I don't want to do this anymore. Yet I keep doing it and I don't know how to stop, bro. So I'm going to read a Bible verse from the Bible. I'm going to read. A I'm going to read a Bible verse from Matthew 5 29 I said I was about to read a Bible verse from the Bible <laughs> but I'm about to read a Bible verse from Matthew 5 chapter 5 verse 29 man and it reads if your right eye causes you to sin tear it out and throw it away for it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown in hell I'm gonna read that one more time man if your right if your right eye causes you to sin tear it out and throw it away for it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell, bro. So, I'm going to break that verse down, man. You guys have to honestly understand first about breaking bad habits is what is instigating or allowing you the opportunity to continue to partake in this bad habit. Let's just keep it on porn for example because i know that porn is, is 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 something that majority of men are battling every single day so you can apply this to any other habit as well but i'm gonna just use this one because i think this applies to most men today and it definitely applies to me still does apply to me and i'm gonna show you guys my experience with it but something that i noticed that i was like bro i keep having access to watch porn because i got electronics in the bed and so what I realized, I was like, man, I got to stop giving myself the opportunity to even be on my phone late at night. So what do I do? I put my phone somewhere else completely. It's not on the nightstand next to me. Like most people, they on the phone, it's, it's, it's right there next to them. Sometimes like I have my phone charging and have it next to me or something like that on a on a case to case basis. But something that I started doing this year in 2024 is I started keeping the phone away from me like like I have it on the TV dresser and it helps me get up too because I, I like to hit snooze all the time. I, I like to snooze. I like to snooze so much that I set my alarm clock earlier so that I can snooze. But so but it but because I can't get up straight up, you know what I'm saying? But when I need to get up, it was also a struggle for me to get up, too, because I'm just not a morning person. And so what I did was I kept the phone over there requiring me to get up out the bed to go over there and turn it off. And once I'm up out the bed, it's like, OK, you already did the hard part. Just continue on. And so that can also help with the bad habit of where you just keep on snoozing, and snoozing, and snoozing. Well, it's because your phone is right there and requiring you not to get out of bed, bro. Move that phone somewhere else where the alarm can go off to where you got to get up and go turn it off, man. Don't have it right next to your phone. That's something that I was like, bro, I got to stop watching porn at night and I got to get up in the morning. So the best thing that I needed to do for 2024 was to just keep the phone all the way over there. You know what I'm saying? Don't bring it to my area, anything like that. And so you guys probably if you can apply that to you know anything else where you're probably hanging around some people that are partaking in bad habits and because you're surrounded by these people you know what i'm saying you continue to con continue to partake in this bad activity sometimes you may just have to be able to move away or go find you another situation that's an example of you tearing that eye out so it can't cause you to sin no more you know what i'm saying get rid of the things that's going to instigate instigate you to into doing it get rid of the things that's going to allow you the opportunity to do it and that's the first step in breaking the habit and then second thing 
is that you got to realize that your body is going to get thrown into hell. So what I'm going to translate that into something else is that you need to go ahead and limit it right now because the end result, how, what, what, if I continue on to this path, where is it going to lead me? Just to get back on the porn example, bro. Eventually, if you stay on that porn uh, journey and you continue to partake in that activity, bro, it's going to rewire your brain to where that, that where you will only get excited and get up to porn. You will no longer be able to get up, get excited with an actual woman. And that is completely true. That is completely true because why? And how do I know this? It's because I've experienced it. Bro, I could have put, when in 2017, bro, I could pull up my phone and get up almost immediately, bro. And then there was this one time I was with one of the most beautiful women I had. Probably, I would say this woman in 2017 was the first woman where I was like, bro, nah, she is drop dead gorgeous, like fire. I had messed with some pretty girls before, but this girl was the one where I was like, bro, she is, I'm talking body on point, five foot skin looking fire hair dark and long wearing them glasses light skin bro i'm telling you my type is a short light skin chick with some glasses and some dark hair bro that is my type and when i mean this girl this girl was a middle eastern chick that was just fire you know what i'm saying that's just is what it is and just to tell you guys a little bit of story bro my first two years of college back in 2015 all the way up to 2017 so freshman sophomore year i had seen this girl this girl is a year older than me so i had seen this girl for since my freshman sophomore year and here we are my junior year 2017 i'm still seeing her 2016 2017 i think my junior year no my junior year is 2017 to 2018 yeah so we in 2017 fall of 28 2017 and i finally link up with her <laughs> and this is me i didn't have no confidence i didn't have the the boldness to go and approach her for two years because i was watching porn because i was letting it you know what i'm saying cause me anxiety and I, I was looking at women as you know something like making them seem way more bigger than what they actually are that's what porn can do to you bro is that you you will only be able to look at women for what you've seen them do on the on the phone and think that that that's the expectation or that's and that's the only thing that you're thinking of and have in mind whenever you're talking to this woman you know what i'm saying your mind is so sexualized to the point to where you know what i'm saying you talk with a woman and you you immediately think of that and it makes it gives you like a little bit sense of anxiety and gets you acting different and things like that as opposed to just having a number a normal conversation with the chick just to get to know her and not have and not being focused on the outcome because you're so focused on the outcome of what you want of what you want to get to you know what i'm saying you're not even you're you're not even taking it slow and acknowledging like, yo, all I got to do is have a conversation with her. You guys are sitting here not knowing, oh, what do I say? Or uh, I don't know exactly how to approach. All, and you're looking at this as daunting because you think that, oh, I need to do this so it can lead to sex. Oh, I need to do this so it can lead to something else. No, bro, just like, oh, I don't know what I should text, bro. Just text it, bro. I mean, stop. she may get with you, she may not, but don't worry about that. That's That's a problem and that's something that you can focus on days or weeks later <laughs> right now bro just go up and talk to the chick and see if you like her bro you over here thinking like oh i gotta i gotta bag her i gotta get her number i gotta do this and you you over here figuring oh what's the pickup the best pickup line or what should i say when she does that should not man you over here that's that's exactly what's leading you to think this is because you sexualize women bro that's exactly why but getting back to the story man i finally meet up with her because she knows a friend that I know. We got a mutual friend. As soon as I found out that we had a mutual friend, that was an easy way of me shooting her, shooting my shot at her. And you want to know what's funny? Is that we both realized that we both had the same mutual friend because we was out. And she saw her talking to me. And then I saw her talking to her. And I was like, oh, bet. I'm going to talk to her after this little party thing that we got going on. I'm going to tell her to put her on. And before I had even got there, she had even she went to her homegirl and was like, hey, are you with so-and-so still? Because she really trying to mess with you. I was like, nah, I ain't with her. I'm ready. 
You know what I'm saying? So we link up, we get each other's numbers and everything like that. And I didn't even have to, we in college, you know what I'm saying? This is the easiest when it comes to dating and interact. This is supposed to be the easiest time when you dating and interacting with women because everybody is there. You know what I'm saying? The the the, the logistics behind dating in this time, per, time period is just so easy. So she was like, yeah, come pull up on, to my dorm room and shit and, and stuff like that. So cool, I'm pulling up to her dorm room off the first link. We go up, you know what I'm saying? We touching and doing every all the business and everything. And once I start kissing on her and all that stuff, I noticed like, oh, my John ain't up yet. You know what I'm saying? I started taking off my clothes and I was like, bro, my John not up. What's going on? I was like, all right, I'm going to keep all going. You know what I mean? And she started touching on my body and everything like that. And it's still not going up. You know what I'm saying? Like majority, almost majority of my clothes off hers. Off, bro, it's just still... And I'm like, bro, what is going on? And I really started getting nervous because then it was Mr. Shrimp was about to reveal himself, bro, because I was on shrimp mode, bro. And so when she I'm like, dang, bro, what's going on? I was like, this is there's something going on, bro, something going on. And I knew it was bad because when she put it in her mouth, bro, she was over there sucking and chewing on a gummy worm, basically, bro. And I'm sitting there like, bro, some, what is, I'm sitting here thinking like, what's going on? I'm not even in the mode no more. I'm thinking like, what's going on? Was I drugged today? Was I drugged when I came in here? What did I eat today? What did I, did I drink water? You know what I'm saying? And my, is my testosterone low and every, like, no, it, in all actuality, what ended up happening, the reason why I was not being able to perform was because I had rewired my brain into thinking that sex was supposed to look like this. And I was starting and I really wanted to impress this woman very, very badly. So much so to the point to where I had the porn had affected me, where it had me not thinking the right way whenever I'm interacting with a woman, man. I had erectile dys dysfunction and I knew that I had a problem because once I once that chick said, yeah, this man got a problem. He can't give me what I need. So on to the next. I squandered the I squandered a, an opportunity that I was looking for for two years, bro. Two years. I squandered it. And I knew it was a problem because a month later when I had started messing with another chick, bro, the problem was still there because I was still partaking in the same activities, bro. Uh, once I pull up the phone, once I pull the internet up, I can get on hawk mode right then and there. Once I get with a real chick, it ain't working out for me, bro. So it exists, bro. And so the people, y'all probably in the comments like, oh, you just had performance anxiety. Yeah, bro, I had performance anxiety. Yeah, you just need to not be thinking about, okay, yeah, that's easy to say, but why was I, why did I have performance anxiety? Why, why couldn't I get it up? Why was I in my own head? Why? Because I have been watching so much porn to the point to where I thought that that was the expectation and the standard, and then I had to do all those things, and I'm like, well, what if she don't like me, and I got to make sure it's good, bro, and all that, like, porn caused all that. I let it affect other members of my life. I have let it affect my entire body basically and what i'm saying to you is you got to realize that your bad habit is eventually going to lead to something much greater something that you may not be thinking is a problem or is going to lead to a, but i'm telling you bro it's going to lead on to something bigger and if it, and if it does lead on to something bigger it's going to lead, transform the trajectory of your life because I don't know how long I probably would have dated that woman or where I would be at or if I had, you know what I'm saying, made sure I was right physically and mentally, you know what I mean? If I had made sure I was good, who knows what could have happened out of the situation. That, we could have had a good year. We could have had a good two years. I could have had a good turn, a better turn. But what did I do? I messed up on my turn because I was sitting there thinking like, oh, there's, this is not a problem. I can continue to do this. I can continue to chase cheap dopamines. I can continue to chase instant gratification. There's no downside to this. I'm getting all the dopamine. Uh, there's no cause. There, I'm feeling real happy in these moments when I'm doing this. There's no downside. There, it doesn't cost me to do any of this stuff bro you best believe it's costing you something you just don't know it yet you just don't know it yet and the most high tells it right here in his bible right here in matthew 5 29 he says get rid of that eye that's causing you to skin to causing you to sin before it affects the entire body bro before it becomes something bigger before it leads you down a path you don't want to go down dog so 
just to recap the video, man, get rid of the things that's going to instigate, that's going to give you the opportunity, that's going to, you know what I'm saying? Get rid of it, bro. Figure out a way. That is your homework if you truly want to break a bad habit. And then secondly, keep the end result and keep and understand that the entire body will get affected if we don't stop this at the eye. If we don't stop this at this member and, and sacrifice this one member, it's going to affect our entire bodies, bro. We have to keep the end result in, in mind. We have to keep sight of the bigger picture. We can't be so focused on the small picture and just the day-to-day -day and thinking like, oh, there's no cost, there's no, there's no downside to this, bro. Yes, there is. If you continue to smoke weed every single day over and over and over, bro, all day, every day, bro, you're, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect you. If you drink nothing but alcohol every single weekend, every single week, bro, it's going to affect you. It's going to, you may pay, you may pay the price for it maybe just one day or maybe just a weekend where you just like, yeah, bro, I, I, I don't feel my best, bro. But I don't want you guys to let this thing affect your entire lifetime, your entire trajectory and the course that God has you put on, bro. Don't deviate from his plan by continuing to be up in this dumb stuff that ain't making your life better, but it's just going to lead you to more sin, lead you to more turmoil, bro. And so I've realized, I'm like, bro, if I keep on watching porn, bro, I'm probably going to miss an opportunity of being with my wife or my wife being f fully satisfied in, in, in our relationship and things like that. I can't show up like that with my wife. I'm a, I want my wife or I want my, my significant other to be beautiful and bad just like that, <laughs> just like that. And I found myself in those positions before because I was able to move on, get with beautiful women. It wasn't the end all be all, but I had to learn my lesson and realize and keep sight of the bigger picture and kept it moving forward. And I realized that, okay, I got to limit this and I got to realize that I got to, you know, slow down a little bit or I'm not going to be able to get with another bad chick ever again. Or I'm going to be worried and having anxiety that I'm not going to be able to show up the right way. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that to be you. I want you to be able to put this bad habit behind you. First thing, like I said, man, put it on the altar. Ask the most high because sometimes, bro, this junk just be feeling like we ain't got no control over our body, bro. Second thing. Do your due diligence. Get rid of the, the, the things that's going to put you there. Get rid of the things that's going to put you in that mode, that's going to put you in that mood. Bro, if you know for a fact that when your homies come over during the week, you know what he on, he trying to smoke, and you know you ain't trying to smoke during the week, you can't kick it with him during the week, bro. I'm not telling you you got to go cold turkey with this stuff either. Just limit it. You know what I'm saying? We we realized that the reason why you on this video watching is because you realize that this is a problem and something needs to be changed. I'm not telling you that you need to go cold, tur cold turkey. You, you need to be the only person that sets the standard of what you think success is. I can't tell you what it is, but success probably ain't going cold turkey for you. Maybe it's just something you just need to slow down, bro. Slow it down a little bit. Set a realistic goal. Say what you need to do and then make and stick, stick to it, bro replace replace those behaviors with something else something be, something productive if you normally do x y and z at this time replace that replace that x y and z with an a b c at that time you feel me now <laughs> but i'm telling y'all bro that story back in 2017 bro it was the most embarrassing feeling bro to be on shrimp mode to her having a gummy worm in her mouth bro what you guys know y'all don't know embarrassed bro and if you ain't never experienced that before, thank God you ain't never had to experience that before. But I'm telling you, if you keep on uh, partaking in that bad habit that I'm talking about, you 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 on the way there, boy. <laughs> you headed right down that street, right down that right down that uh, road, bro. That's gonna be you. I'm predicting the future for you if you keep on partaking, if you keep on getting on that hub, if you keep on looking at them XXX videos. You feel me? That's what's waiting for you. I had to learn my lesson the hard way. Don't learn the way I had to learn, bro. <laughs> that don't got to be you. I don't want you to feel the way I felt. Learn by telling, by, from my experience and what I'm telling you to do and, to, and what, what the most high is going to help you with. Get like, I don't know if you're what y'all believe in. And I'm not some dude that said you got to believe in this and that, bro. But if you believe in a higher power like myself, bro, put that joint on the altar, bro. Facts. Put it on the altar, bro. Because sometimes you just can't do it on your own. And there's nothing wrong with that, bro. 
So, that's all I got for y'all boys. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'ma holla at y'all.